Um, so I got the text from Haley a few days ago that said, make sure your speech is no longer than five minutes. I responded by saying, mine might be a little longer, but I've been living for this moment since I was 14. And then I thought I'd talk really fast, so we should be fine. Um, there was a time I truly didn't know if I'd be standing up here today giving a senior speech. College volleyball is so thrilling and exciting, but is also so, so challenging. You're a full-time student and a full-time athlete. You're performing at the highest level you can every single day. You go through coaching changes, endure position battles, deal with mind games, fight through double days, battle injury, and tough practices. It's really hard. And as a walk-on, every single day of the past four years was a choice, and I'm proud to stand here today. That said, I just want to congratulate Mark Todd Walsh and Ren. I'm so happy for you guys. I started playing volleyball in eighth grade. I was a middle hitter, and the first team I ever made was a misfit threes team. I had no idea that my 14 threes team was the worst of the age group, and that every other club just stopped with a twos team. I was blindly in love with the sport of volleyball, and little did I know this love would drive me, challenge me, and forever change me for the next seven years of my life. So after my first year learning the sport, I became an outside hitter. I made the 15 ones team as their backup to the backup outside. And after that season, my coach at the time wisely helped me understand that as an undersized pin, I would never accomplish my dreams of being a Pac-12 player. At first, I felt let down and sad. But then she told me that if I was willing to switch positions, she believed my competitive and fiery spirit showed promise as a collegiate libero. I was excited for this challenge and eager to learn the position. I got comfortable in my role, and over the summer, just like that, it was 16's year, and I began contacting colleges as a libero recruit. But unlike many of my insanely talented teammates, nobody knew my name. Um, I was not a top recruit, and no lists, magazines, or websites called recruit cited me as a player that would be good at the next level. When I told my high school coach I was switching to Libero in hopes of playing at USC, he said, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> when I told my volleyball advisor that USC was my dream school, he looked me in the eye and said, you would be a punching bag in that gym. But as my teammates could predict, I heard all of that and thought to myself, what a great challenge. <laughs> and being told I was not good enough seemed like the greatest one to face. Months of emails and calls with no response from USC were not getting me down. I was relentless in pursuit. So then after three years of attending the USC volleyball camp, sending an overflow of emails, and getting a few looks here and there, Mick Haley offered me a spot as a walk-on the bear for the 2015 team. I'll never forget that phone call because he said, now we're going to have five libero DSs, and I don't think you're going to get a lot of practice time. We don't know how this is going to work out. But I sat there blindly with a smile on my face and said, sounds great, I'll be there. <laughs> and fast forward through a surreal summer, integrating with the team and my first ever double days, which I thought was a blast and did for four years. It was our first game of the season against North Carolina. The team had lost them in the tournament the year before, so it was going to be a big matchup. With 45 minutes before game time on the clock, Mick announced we'd be starting in rotation two, adding, Victoria, I'm not sure if we're going to start you as a DS or not, we'll just have to see. My whole family was there in support, excited to watch me just suit up and stand on the sidelines. So was I. <laughs> then when the national anthem ended, Leland had called out the lineup, and I found myself standing on the court, looking up at my parents, who were in tears, and brothers who were in shock. The rest of my four years here surpassed my wildest dreams. Two Elite Eight finishes, a Pac-12 championship, and finishing the top five career digs ladder alongside amazing women whom I still idolize. Being on this team is one of the greatest opportunities and experiences I will ever have. There's truly an indescribable feeling that comes along with wearing a USC volleyball jersey. I can't imagine my life without the memories and life lessons I've gained from this program. I'm going to miss waking up on game day, walking into the locker room with that butterfly feeling. I'll miss our pre-game dances to keep it shuffle. I'll miss coming down to the locker room after a practice and cracking up with the girls about everything that happened upstairs. But most of all, I'll miss being a part of this team. It's important to know that none of this would have been possible without the people I want to thank today. I will start with the most important people, my parents. Dad, you spent hours and hours dedicated to helping me achieve my dreams. You filmed every game, edited every video, I can't read through my tears. <laughs> Composed emails with me, created a website, and spent hours with me in your office helping me plot a plan of attack. Not to mention, you drove me to practice after practice, lesson after lesson, and to tournaments near and far, enjoying every second of it. You did absolutely everything possible to support me, and you always believed I was good enough to do anything, no matter what it was. Mom, 
I remember sitting at club tournaments with you and you'd tell me, dream it, believe it, achieve it. At the time I thought it was so corny, but I love it. <laughs> you taught me that anything is possible if I decide to make it happen. For eight years you were always in the stands as someone I could look to for confidence and courage. You went above and beyond moving me in freshman year and continued to do anything and everything. During my toughest times here, you would fly to hotels, take me to dinners, or talk to me on the phone, making me feel happy and motivated again. Mom and Dad, thank you. You are why I'm here. I'd also like to thank my two brothers. Jonathan, you show me what it looks like to want something bad and how to work for it every day. William, you hold me accountable to be my best self. And to my Yaya, you never missed a game on TV or a chance to comment on Instagram. I love you. <laughs> Also, thank you to my best friends, Aubrey. You were always there when I needed you. Max, every time I went insane, you talked me back down to earth. And Natalie, for your laughs and love. Thank you to my mentor, Nicole Davis. She was absolutely pivotal in my career, teaching me how to think and perform mentally at the elite level. Nicole, you made waves in my life. Thank you to the girls in my position group. You're all awesome competitors and insane people. I love the way we challenge and support each other. Thank you, Cindy and Brooke. I couldn't have done it without two amazing friends like you both. And thank you to the rest of the team. I'm excited to watch you all kill it this year. And finally, thank you to McKaylee for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Jason Kennedy, for giving me confidence and support whenever I needed it. Thank you to Jeff Lou for being a great friend and supporter. Thanks to Jeremy for giving me countless media opportunities and pictures. Thank you, Robin Schofield, for all the invaluable life lessons you taught me. Thank you to my club coaches, Marion and Dave Juan, for their guidance and friendship. And last but not least, a huge thank you to Lynn Swan and Donna and the amazing, amazing coaching staff. Donna, thank you for your constant kindness and support and love for every woman of Troy. I'm so grateful for the help and support you've given me these past four years. Steve, thank you for inspiring me daily and always being there to talk. Thank you to JJ, Alex, Eric, Haley, Shannon, and Justin, and Becky for all of their hard work behind the scenes. Each of you has been so great to me, and you're all so generous with your time and energy to help this entire team succeed. And finally, Brent, after my junior season, I took a mental health leave. And if it weren't for your encouragement, open-mindedness, and investment recruiting me back to this team, I wouldn't have the amazing memories I have of this senior year. So thank you, Brent. I'm excited to follow you and the team. Thank you, Volleyball. I love you. It's been awesome. Bye, Dom. <laughs>